Welcome to the worst podcast on the internet. I'm your friendly everyday anarchist, Stephen J. Morris. And let me sing you this song. We used to sing this in the old days. There's no government like no government like no government at all. There's no business like no business, like no capitalism at all. Anarchy was made for you and me. Long live Mother Anarchy. Today's uh, show, I'm going to lecture about uh, the anarchist's relationship with the left the anti-authoritarian left and the authoritarian left and how the conservatives are trying to make the left look like one entity all right current news current news you know is it really worth it to talk about current events i mean really think about it think about it Trump is putting this, like, soap opera out. We all know how it's going to end. But the American people are just waiting with bated breath. Oh, this is so exciting. Will the fascists march in the boulevards of our main cities? And will they declare martial law? And, uh, and if you're trans, will they throw you in an oven? Well, who cares? Because it ain't going to happen. It's not going to happen. So, welcome to our show, and let's get to the main event. Hello, it is I. Your friendly neighborhood anarchist. Today, I want to talk about solidarity on the political left. The left has never, ever been united. And uh, governments and corporations and so-called deep states are going to make damn sure that never happens. You notice that some rhetoric, American conservative rhetoric, they use the phrase, not the phrase, the word left, a four-letter word. The left this, the left that, gives you an impression that it's one monolithic organization that they could they could call the headquarters of the left hello I'd like to t speak to the president of the left sorry sir we uh, we have different departments which one would you like to speak I want to speak to the leader of the left uh, sir there is no leader of the left would you like to speak to the anarchist department or would you like to speak to the progressive department? This is the left, isn't it? Yes, it is, sir. This is the coalition. Well, I want to speak to the, the honcho, the left. Sir, I'm going to have to terminate this call unless you are more specific. Who on the left do you want to speak to? Will you give me the, uh, the, the the dictator of the left? Sorry, sir. We're going to have to terminate this call. <laughs> yes. The left. When they usually mean left, they're usually talking about Democrats or the New York Times, which has nothing to do with the left. But 
I want to talk about there are some people on the authoritarian left, and you know who you are, who are always attacking Democrats and liberals. Why? What do you, you don't know how to prioritize? Is that the problem, Booby? You just let them be. And then once you you go a process of elimination, elimination. You get rid of uh, you get rid of the Republicans and conservatives, then you go after the left. But any any leftist who's all who's focused on liberals. There's, they're either police provocateurs or they were molested by a, a Democrat. They're either, like I said, police provocateurs or they're uh, fakes from the right trying to masquerade as leftists to divide, to divide the so-called left. Well, you don't have to divide the left. It's been that way for hundreds of years. But if you come across to anybody who just focus on Schumer and Pelosi and Nancy Pelosi and uh, Hillary Clinton, they're either spies from the right or maybe they're mentally challenged. Hmm. The anarchist in this country has a bad habit, and you can see this on message boards or any anarchist message board. Anarchists attacking other anarchists. Well, I don't agree with your analysis on that. You're, you're a bourgeois fuckhead, you know? That you're, like I said, you're either a police provocateur or you're just a double agent from the conservatives. Way, debating and arguing is a waste of time. It's a waste of time. Unless you're going to college and you're taking a course in political science and someday in your... You're sitting on the lawn with your friends, smoking weed, and having a friendly, where they used to call it, rap session. Waste of time. Anarchists should be organized, organizing, getting acquainted getting uh, recruitment, education, you know, boring stuff. And eventually you're going to have to learn militaristic tactics, how to shoot, recruit, marksmanship. You don't want to end up like those MAGA guys with the big belly, beer bellies, and this, you go, and that's my message to you guys, to you people, to the anarchist movement. Get off your ass or just uh, give up, become a bum. Nobody cares. I do. Okay?